Hello, it's me. I'm back again with another video. It's been a while. Really has been a while. 800 and something, 805 loyal subscribers now. A few of those are friends. So, say hello, Heath, Sam, uh, Guy, Oliver, and Dom. I think that's all of you. Let's see if you've got your notifications on. See if I get a little message saying, you've done a video and you mentioned me. This is a gun stand, like it says in the description. So, you're not surprised there. This is for servicing and whatnot. Not mine. Made this for the father-in-law, little commission job. He's got several rifles and he's a member of a gun club, so it has to fit lots of different rifles. And I didn't have one to work to, so I had to guess. So all the shapes here. This unbolts, it moves back. You've got several positions. It can go all the way forwards if you put that hole into this bolt hole will move all the way forwards and it will go all the way back to the same on this one move 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 and you can flip it around so this ends there if you've got something extremely long i don't know i don't know how big these things get <clears throat> i just like i say i had to guess I had to guess it these go whoop and down in and out same on that side, and there's two of these, this is the longer one, there's a short one that starts there and goes up to here, and this one starts here and goes all the way up to here, so you can get your barrel nice and flat for when you're working on it, that was my plan, and the same with these, these spin round, slide in and out on these little slots inside there, and there are three Captive nuts that screw into the ply so you can move it down. And these are kind of stabilizers. I thought you could clamp them down if you need it, but he says you don't need it. And it was longer than this. Uh, he said, Can you cut it down? Because I didn't know it was sitting on a table and it was too long for the table. Here's the bit I cut off. There it is. So I cut it down, re chop these bits in. And put those back on. I will now pop a rifle in it for you. Back in a mirror. Ta da! It's in. As you see, it's clamped it nice and flat. So you can still get to all your thingies, take them out. You take your screws out, you can prop them in here, keeps them safe. And I cut that to an angle so you can drag your screws along and get them out because if you've got big sausage fingers you can't get in and the tiny little screws get lost in there that was my plan anyway and they're not going to roll off your bench and disappear in all your crap if your sheds are like mine i would apologize for the mess but it's a shed deal with it that butts up against the back stops it sliding backwards and so i had to guess the shape of these and look at that bang on they're good i am my mum says one's even better than that for a guess. I think I did really, really well. Yeah, so there you go. Construction, 12 mil ply, as you can see. This is one piece full width, and then just four rips of that. Same on the bottom and on the top, so your bolts can go through. So these all come off. All changes and moves around. The rifle, if you're interested in that kind of thing, is a Webley Vulcan. Wow. So it's a nice British rifle for a nice British rifle stand. There you go. If it's interesting in you, you want to make one? Make one. Took me about three days to make, but I was in no rush. Takes as long as it takes, doesn't it? What else am I going to do? Wash the pots? <laughs> I don't think so. There you go. I'm the Wooden Monkey. Good day.